Kia ora and welcome back to the channel. I'm Elvie and today we are looking at depth and how to achieve that in your work. Um, so I find this quite a valuable thing to be able to um, learn and execute in a painting. Um, I've got an example of it here. This is a separate example I'll be talking about in a minute. Um, but if you look here you're able to see um, up the top here is a flat image I'd consider this like basic um, not really going into detail or layering up the work and it as well using very um, kind of the colors given to you rather than mixing colors together to create variation um, and I feel like variation is quite important especially if it's quite a green drawing or painting you want to be able to um, separate the image and parts, um, especially green. It's so easy to just mix the same green up for everything and not really have um, a different green for different areas. Um, so when mixing a green, you might add a little bit more brown, a little bit more of a warm yellow. This is just the set I've been using for this sketchbook. Um, but you might mix... You start with the green maybe, um, but then instead of just using that green only, you might mix a bit of the red or the warm yellow, the blue, just seeing what variation of green works best for you and what you like to paint as, as well as if you want to match the green to the green you're trying to paint, um, completely up to you. But it does add to the work I find just being able to just get that depth in which is <laughs> the purpose of what I wanted to talk about um, and then also looking at the water um, I've just got one wash of water at the back here um, compared to a little just a few layers um, and different blues in that layer as well and you can tell it separates the two background blues quite a bit. Seeing this in other works, I'll just turn the page here. These aren't the greatest example, but you can kind of see started to build it up. Um, this one especially, you can see the build up of the greens, the layering, um, especially in the water, it was a few layers to be able to get that and then the sky as well. Um, and yeah, so you can kind of See, it does make a difference just adding some more layers of maybe darker and lighter colours to create the highlights and shadows in the work, um, as well as like in the trunk here and stuff. Compared to this where it's just one wash, all the greens kind of merge together, the blues kind of merge together, and it just looks very flat and boring, whereas this kind of adds some more interest. Um... And so that's what I wanted to touch on there. Um, moving on, this is kind of a different topic, um, but I wanted to also talk to you guys about grey, because grey or black um, is quite an interesting colour, and I find it the most valuable to be able to learn to mix, because it shows you so much about shadows and what colours are actually there. Um, so this is just a mixture. I This is one of my favourite mixtures of mixing grey. Um, I've got ultramarine blue here and burnt sienna, as you can see up here. Um, and I said joys of grey. <laughs> um, I just did a monochromatic piece, so it's just one colour. Um, well, technically it's two because I mixed the two together. But um, I used that grey and I did lots of... As I go down, I added more water so you can see the variation of the water and tones you can get with grey and here this color here um, I would use in white when I'm painting something white um, such as <laughs> example maybe my cup it's not pure white it's a variation like of grey or maybe I'll add a bit more um, green into it if it's leaning on green and just a very light layer of a colour, um, it kind of adds a bit more interest, I find, and it, it just elevates your work a bit, I feel. Um, when it came to the grey, it's 
here it didn't quite layer up as nicely but you want to be able to have your shadows and your lights and darks and stuff um <laughs> i did one more example of two different grays here um so i've got this is just a quinacridone red i believe or pink or something and then a viridium maybe a thalo green actually and then we've got the umber and sienna up here um, and you can see they look quite different i did add different parts red and different parts green in the works same with this i added different parts blue and different parts brown um but you can kind of tell um you'd use these mixtures for different things like this one doesn't quite fit as nicely i feel like this is much more of a color palette you might see if you're painting a tree um or something but it does kind of work with the wallpaper whereas this kind of fits the um, scene very well with this one it also granulate just because of the ultramarine and that's the nature of that kind of color which i love but you know texture and um the separation is a very um personal taste and this one here also leans a little bit more purple or like green um which you can tell um and these aren't perfect mixes you know like they're not your perfect black your true black that you know you're pre-given in a lot of works but i think it's a good place to start with mixing trying these two different combos rather than going straight to black like in a lot of student grade sets or maybe even professional sets you're given a black and it's so easy just to rely on that but i feel like pushing yourself to be able to learn to mix these blacks and grays um helps you understand that in the shadows it's more than just black there's a little bit of red in there or maybe a little bit of blue a bit more brown like they lean towards a color they're not just black and i find it's really important to be able to just see that understand that and even if you want your black in the color palette mixing a little bit of maybe blue in there just to change it up a little bit and separate the blacks and the grays from your other colors in the same painting um if we look here this <laughs> this is just a, someone else's painting here but if you look here um this is an example of me painting white um and you can see it's not white it's a very light gray and then it's more green um leaning um but it is still a gray and it's making separating um the white from the wallpaper to the white of the window so the window was you know very bright and white but it's i added blue so the blue and the um these two grays separate quite nicely i hope that makes sense um and these are just more paintings <laughs> but oh maybe that's a good example here as well black um i used two different blacks here i used a very brown leaning black here and then a more blue leaning black for the wallpaper behind it um and yeah i just wanted to address this um because sometimes you don't realize um the amount of techniques and stuff that are out there and trying to push yourself learning new skills and techniques is quite important especially if you want to improve or if you feel like your paintings are lacking something it's just sometimes it's just something you don't know and aren't aware of so i hope this video was helpful um if not <laughs> i hope it was entertaining and thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video